Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I'm just doing a little chit chat, get ready with me on this look right here. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. I'm going to be teaching you how to do a look using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I wore this out the other day when I got my tattoo and I loved it and I got a lot of compliments on it. Like this one girl, I was at Starbucks getting a drink and this girl literally was like, oh, I like your makeup. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just going to jump right into the video. I'm going to start off doing my brows. I never do my brows on camera, but I feel like I should today just to change things up a little bit. Also, before you guys come at me in the comments section, yeah, I know that my hair and my skin is looking, like, really bad right now, but, I mean, I'm a teenager. We get acne. Deal with it. You know what I mean? Okay, now I'm just going in with my NYX brow brush, and I'm going to fill in my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. By the way, I used the uh, Brow Wiz pencil, the Anastasia Brow Pencil, to do, like, the kind of rough outline like, in the front because I find when I use the pomade for that it doesn't look really good because it's so dense like you know what I mean oh, it feels so good to just be back on camera I had to take a bit of a break from filming for the past little bit but oh, it's just so good to be back and filming and just sit down and chill with you guys I just finished all my semester one exams. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Guys, that's so... Why do I have no eyebrows without this stuff? Like, I don't even know. So now I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and an angled brush, and I'm just going to carve out my brows. Just starting off by putting up some uh, concealer on the back of my hand, and then just dipping in with my brush and going in. This concealer was like the first kind of um, high-end concealer that I got for myself. To be honest, I didn't even know anything about makeup. I just knew that I loved it and that the girl at Sephora just talked me into buying it. I was like, oh, I want the, um, the concealer here. <laughs> what? She was so confused. She's like, yeah, we got a lot of those. I'm like, oh, really? You have more than one? Hmm, interesting. And then she was like, yeah, I like this one. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, and then I was like, shit, I'll just buy it because the girl at Sephora with nice makeup uses it. So, I mean, why wouldn't I? Yeah, this was my holy grail. Um, like, if you look back at my old Instagram posts, like... <laughs> You'll see that this, like, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Very Fair was, like, the only one I used. It's because I didn't own any other ones. But before that, like, I had the CoverGirl, like, Ready, Set, Gorgeous, I think, concealer. That was, it was a good time. I liked that concealer. I don't know if it's just because I didn't know any better, but that was a good concealer. Like, I'm not mad. Now I'm just going to use the rest of the concealer in the back of my hand and just put that on my eyelids. This is the way I prime my eyelids. Just because it works for me doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. I just think that this works better than any eye primers. It just gives it a nice clean base. Okay, I actually do love this <laughs> concealer. I kind of forgot. Like I stopped using it. I was getting really into my MAC um, slick cover-up. I mean, obviously it's a great concealer, but... I was getting like really into it and I didn't really use anything else and then I just like kind of found this one again when I was cleaning my brushes because I keep it in with my brushes like I found it again and I was like oh my gosh I should try that one again because I loved it the only reason why I'm not using my beauty blender to blend out the concealer on my lid is because I feel like it just soaks up so much of the product and my eyelids get really greasy so I just use my finger because it soaks up like way less product so okay I'm looking at the colors for the Jaclyn Hill palette and like one of the colors like the first color I'm going to use is MFEO but like what does that even mean? I'm going to stop this footage right here and I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay so now that you guys are in way too close to be comfortable I'm just going to go in 
with the Jaclyn Hill palette in the shade MFEO. It's the fourth shade in the palette. It is this one right here. And I'm just going to go into my crease with that using a Morphe M510 brush. I'm a Morphe addict. It's kind of bad. But I'm just going right into my crease with that. Okay, next I'm going in with the shade right here, the shade called Butter. And I'm just popping that also in my crease just to give it more depth. This palette is amazing. Like, can I just say, like, you can do anything with this palette. There's so much diversity in this palette. It's kind of insane. Okay, now I'm just going in with the shade um, Jax, and it's sort of that, like, the darkest red shade in the palette. And I really want to go in with a very light hand using the shade because I only want it to look slightly purple. I don't want it to look like that deep red that it is. I want it to almost look just pink. So pigmented, like I'm literally barely touching my eye. And just keep this tucked in right in the crease because you don't want to go too far up otherwise you're going to look like you got punched in the eye. It's funny, I did this look and then I FaceTimed my friend and then she was like, oh are you using the Modern Renaissance palette? I'm like, no girl. It's the Jaclyn Hill palette. She's like, oh my god, how'd you get that, like, pink shade that looks like Braun Fresco from the Modern Renaissance palette? I'm like, it's not. It's the Jaclyn palette. That's why I love this palette. You can work with the colors and you can make them really pigmented. Or you can just do this and, like, build them up. Oh, it's such an amazing palette, you guys. Like, I live in Canada, so I ordered this from the U.S., and it was in, like, U.S. dollars, and I was working a minimum wage job with only a couple days a week, and I remember, like, crying after I saw the money leave my bank account, and then I got it here, and I was so happy. God, I, I'm, I don't regret it at all. Like, it was worth absolutely every penny that I spent on it. Guys, I forgot how much I loved this uh, concealer as an eyeshadow base. Like, you can literally, you can't even see that I'm wearing anything. Okay, now just going back in with Jax and deepening up that outer corner. And then just dragging that into the crease. Guys, this is all using one brush, by the way. Like, I haven't switched brushes. This is the Morphe M513. Possibly my favorite blending brush of all time. Like, it's amazing. I used to be so all about the M433, and then I started using this, and I've just been so into it. Next shade I'm going in with is the shade Faint. It's this really gorgeous pink color, um, and I'm just going to put that on my lid at about, to about the halfway point, almost like a half cut crease kind of thing. Guys, these shimmers are literally the most buttery shimmers I've ever used. They're so gorgeous. And if you really want like a foiled look, you can just pack it on because they become so intense. Oh, I love this. Like if you look at this look, don't you think that I use like the Modern Renaissance palette? I don't know, I just think it's so cool how you can do so many looks with this palette by Jaclyn Hill. And if you want to get these shadows even more intense once you really like, which you really don't need to, but... If you want to get them even more intense, you can pack it on with your finger, and it literally looks like liquid metal on your eyes. God, it's so beautiful. Okay, now I'm just using my original blending brush, and then going right on the outer corner, and blending those two together, and also going in the crease, and just blending out that harsh line. So now I'm going to line my eyes using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And just do a little small little line because I'm about to put on some lashes. Okay, guys, the lashes I'm going to use today are by Ardell. They're the Soft Touch 162 lashes. Um, I'm really excited. I've never used these before, but they look like cute. No? I don't know. Sometimes, like, certain lashes don't work on me, but I'm going to give these a shot. 
Okay guys, now that the eyes and lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face using the Benefit Professional Primer. And I really want to try the new one, the, like, I think it's the Pearl Primer. That one is so nice, you guys. I've heard so many good things about it. If it's like this, then, I mean, sign a girl up, you know. You know what, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Rose Ivory. I did a video on this, uh, doing a little first impression, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. Ooh! My mom just told me to walk the dog. Later. I'll walk her later. Okay, I'm just going to spray my Beauty Blender with some Fix Plus. And go to town. Okay, I don't know why, but my beauty blender is so damn loud when I, like, look on the footage, like, when I'm editing. Like, literally all I can hear is my beauty blender, and it's like, am I beating my face too much? I'm also going to go ahead and use my Too Faced Bonus Way concealer under my eyes. Let's just, just stick with it, I guess. It's such a nice concealer. Like, I really miss using it. It's almost done, though. Like, I... This was my baby for a long time. Okay, I'm just gonna spray some more Fix Plus in my beauty blender. Go back in, you know the drill. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I always flip it upside down, and I keep on forgetting that I have so much in the lid that I don't need to flip it upside down right now. What I need to do is just like go with it, do you know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. You know the drill, and just carve up my cheekbones. Ooh, she is a little intense. Also, just want to say a uh, quick thank you to my friend Emma for getting me this mirror. She gave it me a Sephora gift card, and like, of course, you always get a little mirror with your gift card. And I've been using it literally every time I do my makeup, so. Thanks so much, Emma. You're the best. Okay, just going with my Morphe R37, doing some nose contour as per usual. Going back in with my Beauty Blender and my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and we're going to bake my nose a little bit. And I'm also just going to bake underneath my bronzer. So now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Visible Lift, Color Lift Blush and Nude Lift. And I'm just using my fingers to apply this just because it's sort of like a putty consistency, but then it's putty on your fingers and then on your face it turns to like a powder finish. It's weird, but I think it's pretty to be honest. I've been really into blush lately, I don't know what it is, but I've just been feeling blush. Do you know what I mean? Alright, so now I'm just going to grab my big fluffy brush and blend away the excess powder. Okay, now I'm going back into my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just going to take the shade Jack slightly on my M513 and put that underneath my eye on my lower lash line. Okay guys, now I'm just going in with my MAC Shimmering Skin Finish Highlight in Soft and Gentle, and then just go into town. Alright, I'm into it. So, now I'm going to go in with some Lash Paradise and put on my bottom lashes, just to finish off the eyes. Okay, I'm also going in with some Clear Brow Gel. This is the brow gel by Maybelline New York. It's the Great Lash. It's clear mascara, but I mean, I use it for my brows, so. And then just finishing off the look with some NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Apparently I'm out of setting spray, so I'm just gonna <laughs> go ahead with some Fix Plus. Okay guys, I'm just going in with my MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in Shy Girl. and just putting that on. 
Okay, and then over top of that, I'm just kind of going in with a little bit of this Avon lipstick and Mocha Plum. Okay, guys, that concludes today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and this little chit chat get ready with me. If it's my first time doing this, um, let me know if I can improve anything in the comment section below. Please give this video a big thumbs up because it'll really help me out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I'll see you all in my next video, and I love you so much. Bye!